Hello, 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 and welcome to this it's uh, how-to video of how to have a farming for a bedrock-esque type item here. As you see here, I have what is titanium, which it looked like overall pink, like if you found like a, just a regular ore of a uh, cluster of titanium, it was like pink with this kind of tinted uh, mineral on the sides. But now this is how it overall looks like. So if you can't find titanium, they changed up to how it looked. It's no longer like the, uh, how it was where it was like the, uh, as you see the gray parts here were pinkish. They are now regular gray and they just have this pink kind of titanium or aspects to the outside. But what you're going to need, of course, let's get first into that, is one, is you're going to need this. You're going to need an uplifting supplement to be able to make your bedrock uh, exist. To basically automatically been grown into the bedrock. Secondly, well, actually, firstly, full. Firstly, you can what you need is a bedrock, kind of like that. Let me show you. Uh, quickly going over here. One of the first things you really need to do, which is a very long and hard process, is you need to basically destroy this bedrock to where you can never mine it. If, if you see stuff popping out, you're still able to mine it. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's a bit annoying. I it's uh, not have you on my apologies yeah if you can still mine it, it has not been broken yet so what you're gonna have to do is try to break this now it's gonna take a while it's like hopefully you can level up to where you got like these abilities here because they are very helpful because like the more damage you do the quicker you're gonna have it to be able to be broken so you need that you need a good pickaxe and you need a lot of chests to put this stuff into now, as you saw uh, you break one, it just gives you a six sand here. But with abilities like these, you'll see here. That I uh, activate all of them. The more damage you, the more you get. See, instead of getting me six sand, it gives me a 27 sand. Now, also, what you, I think is best to do is have to have the uh, jump ability all the way up to where you can do triple jump there. Cause then, when you slam on the edge there you got this going so that will really help you know Troy you just keep looking around and boom doing that until this whole bedrock here is destroyed but yeah once that's done and it's broken you know you make your bedrock uh, thing how you want like I said the items you need first off is going to be this sort basically becomes a uh, bedrock so bright red herbs if you're looking for these because they are you can't make them they are attainable by harvesting them in the fields of treasure chest and gotchas but the easiest way to uh, get them is you you have to go to an island like this and the area that you uh, spawn into this little island in the middle you see the bright green one there is where they're gonna be and they're just I think they say they uh, let's see uh, they face the sand the desert area we'll just go over there and I'll show you yeah, we're here over on the uh, kind of island all around us. You got the fire island over there, the poison island, the desert island there. Uh, well, yeah, that's where we are right here. Not sure where the ice one is. It's just far over there. You can't see it because the uh, render distance and all. Sweet green bonus. But yeah, if you uh, head over to the desert area here, this is where your bright red herbs are going to be. And they do respawn after a little bit, so you can just keep collecting them, leaving them, and then coming back. I'm not sure what the uh, spawn rate is, but that's how you get the bright red herbs. Unfortunately, you, you currently can't farm them, which kind of sucks. Maybe in a later update. But yeah, that's how you get the bright red herbs for the uplifting supplement here. But like it shows there, you need water, king mono fluid, as well as black gunpowder. How you get those items quickly, you see here, black. Gunpowder is from sulfur, it is from trial coil, and this item is salt pepper. It shows here you just cook a, two poos in an aging facility. That's how you get those. But also, the uh, king mono fluid here is dropped from no clothes king mono or punching bag. Now, punching bag you can get out of the gotcha machines if you got lots of stuff working with there. Or you can, like, if possible, if you can catch the king monos, you can have it from a, via, you know, a breeding farm to collect those. 
which I'll show you how to like collect those as well as uh, other items that you might need farm wise. But excuse me, the other stuff you need for this, excuse me. So also of course the bedrock you want. You got stone here. You got sand. You got iron. You got like I said, OG there, the titanium. You also have rare materials as well as bauxite, which all oh, dude, if you can find those medium meteorites, those are a rare thing to find. Get having bauxite for especially later on ages. It, this is something you're gonna need. As well as you got here, sulfur bedrock. But yeah, you wanna make one of those with the items you see here. Like the meteorites themselves, like you, the only way to get like small meteorites is like from a actual meteorite happening, and I haven't seen that happen yet. And, here, maybe I, it, they exist somewhere, I just haven't seen them. But you make medium fragments from s 10 small meteor fragments here. And the large, of course, is just the medium from the small. But you gotta, you know, do it via a chemistry lab. Yeah, let's see. What's the medium one? Yeah, chemistry lab as well. Yeah, okay. So yeah, you just do those in chemistry labs. But here, just what you need is for like a titanium, you gotta. 10 limestone, 10 clay, 20 titanium ore, as well as 6 heavy steel or you know, just this for that, that for that. But then, you sit on here and you hit it with that supplement. And you have this cooking set up here with some green monos. That way, this keeps getting healed as, there's a one method where it can be automated, I saw. Uh, if you want, with a uh, couple of where art thou items yeah if I can get to them are these excavators they will mine them for you and automatically still be in heal but this is a very long process which you know it'll just grab out like per one like uh, one maybe up to three here as you see there but if you want to like the method with breaking them yeah, you just you know use these abilities here get these going and then with a single one, as you see, it's 15 ore. Now you're going to do this for a while, but then after a bit, you want to just sit back and let the monos heal this. That way it won't be broken and you can have a just a l limit, not limit, uh, l limitless amount of titanium or whatever type of item you want of what I showed you. But yeah, that's how you do a uh, bedrock ore kind of thing. And I... Granted, some of these have to uh, come out in the later ages of the uh, ores here. To get, you might not have that on here. If you don't, that means you're not at the age yet to have them. But yeah, once you get them to that age and you have the setup, you like I said, you want to have this cooking pot here, the large pot with these uh, breeding farms with some green monos because they do the whole healing explosion area of effect when they die. And then over here, for whatever it is cooking of, the, you know, the eggs and the uh, cacti that they drop when they die, you know, it pops out here into a market, so that way you are making money from it, or maybe just have a chest set up here to absorb what's being dropped out. Otherwise, you know, it, they're all just going to pile up in here. And as you see, there's not much space here at all. So you want to have droppers, you want to have absorbers, and you want to have a market set up here to take that all out automated wise so you can just like sit back and not have to worry about that it's all being automated sewed and your hands are not having to do anything after you have this set up yeah that's how you do a bedrock farm the hardest part about it is of two stages like i said the first stage is breaking the bedrock because you got to put those items these uh these bedrocks here on a broken bedrock yeah see you have to place it onto an exhausted bedrock as it says there in the uh, info area otherwise it just won't take it won't take you have to exhaust the bedrock which is unfortunate because like i said it takes a while and which you want to like it's best to do later stages like i said with these abilities here because uh let me show you what these abilities are and why they help So I saw like a kind of how-to video, like, but they didn't really show what the abilities were or how long it'll take for you to obtain them. But let's see, I don't think any of them are in the uh, basics here. No, I think they're mostly, if not all, in combat.
Yeah, first one you got here is Battleheim. Attack of you and your party members within a range will increase through song. So, you know, you get that up and you have this bonus attack. Uh, the next one here, this back water formation as it says in return of defense decreasing attack will increase so you have more attack damage that you're doing with your pickaxe as well as here with the berserk once maxed out really good uh temporarily enter a berserk state to gain attack and attack speed but your defense decreases so you have all this attack happening and then I like later on grab this, which I'm still trying to level up, is uh, Rampage. Physical critical chance will increase for a short period of time when you kill an enemy. Effective duration will refresh and physical critical chance will further increase. The reason I say that is good because uh, if you like, kind of do also the triple jump, which is, let me show you where that is. Which that is, oh, overshot it. Is in uh, magic. No, it doesn't match. It's living, right? I'm a fool. It is basic. It's the one of a few basics I have, which is yeah, double jump here. I have maxed out. This will allow you to double jump. Jump height increases with higher skill. So when you have this maxed out, that's where you get the triple jump. But also in uh, living, which I also have, are these items to tr help increase your amount of stuff. Get you know the effect. The, the efficiency of the pickaxe increases, meaning they will last longer, as well as this being the sense of miner, means you have a chance to obtain additional rocks with mining natural stone, meaning it'll just help you some additional stuff, especially if you want to get stone, get much more stone. But with all these abilities, uh, especially with this one here, is what I'm talking about originally, is a uh, critical damage, as you see here, that 370, that yellow, that is a critical hit on the rock itself. So you're doing more damage to really help break the rock and then that way it is exhausted and then you can place your bedrock that you want on top of it. But uh, the way to make sure that it, you know you got your bedrock going just like a tree with the uh, this item, the uh, neutral supplement which makes the green tree grow immediately. This will help make that bedrock grow immediately and you have your bedrock. But yeah, that's basically how to have a good bedrock farming going on. You, like I said, you can have it set up with excavators. To where uh, that's what they're called, right? Excavators. Um, triple check my foolishness. These, uh, yeah, excavators. You can have excavators where they are automatically mining this, but they don't mine that much. Whereas, like, if you want to get as much of the item you want, you just pop these abilities I showed, and then. You do the triple jump and bang you got it. well that was a unfortunate one it was on the edge there here's the edge there you see all that and you're just getting a bunch of 86 titanium ore from those two hits alone so yeah that's a good way to get like the ore you really really want but that's at least my advice you do you but this is how i have it set up and again you have your two uh Breeding facilities here with monos on each that'll die and just heal and it will also heal that. But you do you if you want to do an excavator or just by hand. I like it by hand that way I get as much as I want as quickly as I want. But that's how you do it. I hope you were informed and I hope you have a rock'em sock'em day. Peace.